Hi, my name is Sharon Egan. I am a Wadjuk Noongar woman, which is the Aboriginal people from the Perth area and surrounds. My inspiration for this piece was of the shelters that Aboriginal people used for thousands of years, they're called the Maya Maya. Yeah, and I'm just so happy to be part of Sculpture by the Sea, so this is my third time. And so this one we've gone, and like we're under the she oak trees, which is like Aboriginal women would sit under them because all the needles would make a soft cushioning. So it was a good place to sit yeah. and breezes flow through. And even now as you sit under she oaks, you can hear the whispering of the women's voices as they you know, like from, it's because there's lots of green around this, the grass, the trees, the ocean, and, and a bit of bluey green. So we sort of get an, just another shade, that one that would stand out from all the other greens. And then just using contemporary materials, contemporary yeah. colours, so, and just having fun with it. Like. Yeah. Right, so we've got a couple of weeks to work on it. We'll be working on it through the show exhibition. Yeah. And so we're just sort of wrapping the trees with some hessian to protect the bark. And that's so how this is all wrapped underneath with hessian and protected. And we're going to start weaving from the centre sort of weaving out until it's all covered in. Mm -hmm. Wendy is coiling the mat together for the floor. And Sarah, so Sarah, I was, we collaborated on the 2006 Sculpture by the Sea. I'm very thankful and honoured to be chosen to be part of Crown Resorts and Packer Family Foundation's Indigenous Artist Program. It's good they've started with a local person, so yeah. and it'll be good to have you know, more following on. So. Yeah, so I want people to come in and it'll be quite tactile, so it's touchable and it's quite tough and you know, have kids bouncing and playing and or maybe someone just sitting and relaxing.